do you, do you need that blanket? Do you need it? Thank you for making biscuits this morning. We're gonna get on the road, buddy. Got all our supplies we need here at, at Wally World. We're gonna leave the area today and get into a new state. Yes! But before that, we got some stops to make. So, Jax, you just get comfortable, okay? Oh, okay. He looks pretty comfortable to me. And you know what else, guys? I may not be using the bike every single video you see from me. Just like I may not be using the drone in every single video. Today, I'm gonna make a point of using the drone at some point for something. I just don't know what it is yet. We shall see. Okay, Jax? You terribly concerned about my choices today? Terribly concerned, okay. I'll figure it out, man, don't worry. <laughs> Uh, driving through this little uh, well, kind of wooded neighborhood residential area and every once in a while across this main street there's these strange things going above the road and I'm gonna take a closer look at one of them uh, there's another big one right down there but before we get there look at this huge squirrel monument mr. nutty the squirrel there how you doing buddy it's shooting right up into the Sun let me come over here a little bit yeah well he's cool looking Oh, and I just got the connection. Watch this. Uh, behind me, they got a steam train on display here in Longview. We're in squirrel country, guys. That's what's going on. You got all these, got all these busy roads with all this traffic, and you got all these poor squirrels that uh, can't make it safely across, right? So they build the squirrels bridges over the road. Look at this. Can you see it up here? I'll zoom in a little bit, but. It says it's the Nutty Narrows Bridge and it spans over these trees over Olympia Avenue and gives the squirrels a little nice little track to run across. Kind of a play on the uh, Tacoma Narrows Bridge, I'm guessing, hopefully not any galloping Gertie going on or anything, but. That is pretty cool. I'm glad they put that in for the squirrels. Well, let's go chase uh, the good weather on south and continue and see how far we can get today. Oh, it still feels like I'm home in this general area. Oh. Yeah, it definitely feels like home. <laughs> that is the biggest no overnight parking sign I have ever seen anywhere. <laughs> okay, we got it. We got it, man. <laughs> you might say, hey, Eric, that's a big body of water out there. Yeah, it is. This is the mighty Columbia River. On that side of the river is Oregon. Where we're standing right now is Washington State. And it actually, the river divides the two states here in the southwest, but then also it goes west to east along the southern border of Washington and the northern border of Oregon, separating them as well. Um, I, think, I think the Oregon side's a little better because I've, I've traveled that area quite a bit. I'm not gonna do it this time, but uh, yeah, the, the Columbia River here. And right here on the harbor, there are three huge totem poles. I mean, huge. Well. Excuse me, three huge totem poles right there. And then this one laying down on the ground, world's largest totem pole made out of one tree. I'm not exactly sure why they took it down. Maybe it fell down. You can see it used to be uh, right here. It may have been too windy or, or maybe this piece of wood is not aging very well, being that it's so tall and it's just one piece. In fact, that's probably not a good sign that it's, it's hollow right there. But that is a really long totem pole, guys. I hope they're gonna put it back up, actually. But we'll see, I may have to cross the Columbia River quite a few times down in Oregon as I go through Oregon also. Hold on. <laughs> if, if I saw this right, <laughs> we're here in uh, Ridgefield, Washington. And uh, Terry and Scott, destination open road. I think I got one for you, sorry. I mean, every city's gotta be well known for something. Ridgefield happens to be the home of U-Haul, apparently. Population of 6,000 and uh, apparently this is where U-Haul started. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. There's no information other than that. And okay, cool, there you go, guys. I have a feeling Terry and Scott may not be visiting this city though. <laughs> Bad memories, too soon. No, it was a while ago. Oh my gosh, I love these little roadside gems. Still not quite in Oregon yet, guys. That's private property over there, but I can show you from the road. Somebody has built their own custom Golden Gate Bridge leading to their house. Uh, they got a little submarine out here. 
and they just couldn't be normal. So yes, they built their own Golden Gate Bridge to their house. I'm gonna peek over here. Oh, look at all the little ducks in the water too. Is that cool or what? Nice job, guys. We still got a few hundred miles till we hit the Golden Gate ourselves. What? What? Uh, let's uh, turn into this rest area here. It says free coffee. And this is exit 11. We're only 11 miles from where I'm gonna cross over into Oregon. So this is the last Washington State rest area. It's really bumpy and they're doing construction. Ah, that sign does say they have a dump and I was thinking that might happen here. There's the dump. I am gonna have to wait my turn. There's already two RVs here. That's okay. So, you know, th obviously this is gonna be one of those things I really miss about this state. Even though they're unfriendly to RVs in the cities, the state highways that have the free dump stations and free drinking water. I'll uh, start with a clean slate going into Oregon at least. Well, we hit traffic, but that is a wonderful sight there, seeing this bridge finally. This, uh, we're going to cross over the Columbia River right now officially, leaving the state of Washington. And hello, state of Oregon, finally. No sales tax, <laughs> so if you uh, get the two for five at Burger King, you hand them a $5 bill. There's the entering Oregon sign. And, and yeah, that's how easy it is. <laughs> and uh, well, actually, see this, this piece of land right off to our right here? That's not quite the mainland, that is an island. That is Hayden Island. And you can probably see it right there. We are welcomed by a Cracker Barrel. So essentially, welcome all RVs. Yes, you can overnight park here. Okay, and we can get some really good food. Let's do that. I tease Washington State a lot, but <laughs> no, I really do like Oregon a lot better. Yeah, it's just, uh, it doesn't matter because next time I come back to the Northwest, the entire dynamic of the entire coast could have changed. Everything could have turned into a Lacey Washington by then. And, Okay, I shouldn't even bring that up again. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You just turn the key and go. Again, thank you Cracker Barrel for allowing some, some overnight parking in your parking lot. You got good food and uh, I'm going to wait an hour here and then I'll go in there and get an early dinner like a, like a four o'clock before it gets too busy. Seems to work really well and who knows, may even grab breakfast there in the morning too. Keeping it cool in here, running the uh, fans. Not quite needing like air conditioning yet, but Yes, even into September, it can be 90 degrees in some parts of California. So if I really am thinking about continuing on straight south, it could actually warm up for me as we get into autumn, fall. It's true. So I'm just getting an extended summer. Yes, I like it. Oh, and here at Cracker Barrel, I'm going to live without the slides. I mean, I'm probably almost never going to use that slide anymore. Uh, but this one, it's perfectly fine to just I'll show you. I can still recline and watch TV just fine, of course. All right, I'm hangry. I'm so hangry. Jax, man, I'm going to get some food, okay? You take care of the fort, all right? I'm seeing in about a half hour. Want me to bring you back something good? All right, man. All right, man. Be good. Mmm. -hmm. Smell home cooking in here. Not too busy. Mm -hmm. Get that fried chicken special today? Yeah, yeah definitely. I'll get that with um, mashed potatoes and mac and cheese. Holy cow. Look at all this chicken. Mm-hmm. 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 In my mouth. Well, I see you didn't get too far. Good morning. You slept the whole half hour away. I brought you some chicken back. You want some chicken? Yeah. Can I just tell you how good it was? Oh, it was so good. You want some chicken? Yeah, come this oh, me, oh my. It is cooling down a little bit. We hit 84 degrees. To me, that, that's warm. Warm for this time of year, at least. Get used to it, Eric. It's gonna keep getting warmer. You guys see I put this in? I think I showed this in my last video. Business cards. 
because people are always asking for info and sometimes they knock and I'm not I'm not here so now you can grab a business card in here and uh, get some information in case you're curious <laughs> yeah. all right guys we're gonna go uh, explore a little bit more of Oregon in my next few videos and uh, we're gonna keep it fresh and do all new stuff so if you're looking for fun Stay tuned to this channel, subscribe, give me a thumbs up on the video, and Jackson and I will see you in a few days. Bye, guys.